Hey, hello guys, I gotta make another video about this power supply, the SPSB Prototype 1.0. Now I, now I can remember <laughs> because it's a pretty long name. Um, I did uh, add the RC circuit, the snobbing uh, circuit to the to the power supply. It's, I saw that at the bottom of the PCB, it's fine, it's okay. Uh, because it's gonna have standoff, so anyway, I'm gonna use this power supply anyway. Um, I did, I used all a snobber filter cap on the bridge rectifier with no problems at all so as you can see I already installed I mean I, I did install that a long time ago uh, the snowboard cap no problem at all I do not hear any any hum sound or distortion on the from the honey badger also, also uh, actually the honey badger has uh, extra filtering so I think it's, it's gonna be double double the filtering so I don't think it's nothing nothing bad with that Okay, uh, the selected profile is using the two bridge rectifier. You can see I using the two bridge rectifier, but with the connectivity, uh, you can see the wires, the blue wires, are connected to the center as start ground for the power uh, power supply. The LED fuse status works really well. I I mean on that video you saw is they behave like like they they supposed to be. It's just the truck is passing by. I know. Uh, they behave the way it's supposed to be. They, they, they are just indicators. That's it. That's the only purpose of the, the LED. It's just for an indicator. Uh, if the fuse blow, uh, you will see the notification on the on the LED because it's going to be on. But because the, this type of uh, fuse holder has the cover, plastic cover, so you're not going to you're not going to be able to see it. But with the LED, you just uh, you can. Um, predict which one it is, which, which fuse is, is blow, so the only thing you gotta do is just replace the, the fuse. Um, they were having the screw type terminal will make the connectivity a lot faster, so having the having the this European style uh, connectors, it makes the, the, the connectivity pretty easy, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be struggling trying to feed the, the Faston, the Faston, uh, they are really nice, but when you try to remove it, I mean, you're doing the test, you want to remove it so you can move it around and you do some kind of uh, maintenance or whatever, it's going to be really difficult to remove it because uh, by the time pass by, you try plug it in and take it out all the time, it's going to weaken the, the solder, I think, I'm not sure. But having the, this specific way, you can do uh, cleaning up, I mean, if the power supply get dusty, you can unscrew it. Uh, pretty easily you can unscrew the the cables and do maintenance and cleaning cleaning up the the power supply if the power supply is collecting dust or something like that uh, what else I use this this uh, the supply listening to jazz vocals Metallica instrumental and I can describe to be more accurate the reproduction of bass and more clear sound also the hum Home, that's really important. The home sound is not present at all on the design. Uh, with the other power supply that I have, I, I don't have it here. Uh, I can listen to the home because uh, they remember this is two bridge rectifier. So the the purpose of having the two bridge rectifier is to avoid having the center tap of the power transformer connected to the center of the of the power supply that will create the ground, the basic ground. Because this power supply has the one one side of the power supply is going to be the negative, uh, sorry, but uh, the positive rail and the negative rail. So we're gonna have the positive here and the negative here. Plus the center is the ground. So the uh, basically I I I, I think I, I made a drawing about that. Basically I make a drawing. Sorry about my my annotation. I feel like I signed. Signed. Okay, this is the basic uh, circuit that you can see. It's just this is the center. This I call it the zero volt ground tierra terra. And I think it's in Portuguese. So you can see this is the basic. This is the basic uh, circuit. You can see it has the the positive on the top. On this area is the positive, and the bottom is the negative. It is going to be protected by the fuse. So you will have the peace of mind that if something wrong with the amplifier that you are building, uh, it's gonna blow pretty fast the, the fuses. So you don't have to worry about it. You know, it's not it's not gonna damage the also the fuses. 
uh, this fuse is prote protecting the the bridge rectifier and some, something happened you know so so this is the 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 breather resistor is on the positive rail it's basically um this one right here that one right there sorry that you, you don't see and that one is the negative so it's gonna bleed out the power supply after you turn off the the audio amplifier so it's gonna discharge uh, the capacitor slowly i i think we can i think i think we can lower that value even more i think I, or maybe leave, leave it like that i'm gonna leave it like that 5.6 guy i think is fine because i do not have a really strong a uh, power transformer this one is, is just uh, a two windings of 35 volt ac that will give me about 50 52 volt uh, dc on the power supply I, I would like to have a little bit more maybe 60 60 volts 65 volt dc for the for the honey badger the honey badger sounds really good they did this clone on the honey badger uh on the rc filter yesterday uh, I, the last reading i mean the first reading i i have using the scale of ac reading the the output of the of the power supply so i have 0 0.008 volt uh, and then with the rc filter i have a 0 0.006 volt on both uh, rails so they were really nice so this is basically what it is this is the it's a, a simple circuit uh, on the power supply and uh, what else i need to okay okay one important note uh, none of the bridge rectifier were even warm to the touch uh, they were cold after two hours of uh, listening to music i was listening to music yesterday for about two hours and the bridge rectifier they were cold to the touch none of them they were hot so that uh, indication that the 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 circuit is, is, is working correctly and uh, with no uh, any you know problem or whatever uh, yeah this is the last thing the re the reading after the rc went down a bit more to 0 0.006 volts so this is the basic uh, rc uh, listen to music uh, yesterday it was really pl a pleasant experience because not hearing the the hum sound after the music uh, uh, basically stop and uh, you know goes down to the end of the music you cannot i cannot hear any hum at all and um, I'm I'm really glad that the the sound was <coughs> sorry about that the sound was really precise. It was the bass, the instruments, the the, the battery, whatever. Pam pam pam. It was really nice. Until I really enjoyed listening to music for a few hours yesterday. And today I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna I'm gonna play. I'm gonna uh, use it for a while and uh, just to make sure everything is fine. But I I already oh yeah uh, I forgot to mention the you know. I, you're not supposed to be touching stuff because you might get shocked, but I, I don't care. Um, I touched the transformer, it's already isolated by plastic, so you're not going to get shot. So I touched the transformer, the transformer was cold to the touch. Even though I was playing music for about two hours, the transformer was cold. And oh yeah, one more, uh, one more thing, uh, it's, it's, funny, it's funny, but after I unplug the, the cable, the power core, after I, because I don't have the switch yet, so this is the power core. After I unplug the power core, the transformer remain the power the amplifier remain on for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds of music or 40 40 seconds, about 40 seconds of music because all each capacitor this is 15,000 microfarads. So I, in total, I have 45,000 microfarad on this side and 45 microfarad on this side. So it's gonna have plenty of microfarads for the bass tones. Uh, I play the uh, toccata. Uh, from London uh, Orchestra, uh, Mah Mahem Steamroller. Mah I think it's Mahem Steamroller. I don't know how to pronounce it. Mahem Steamroller. That's a video that I made a long time ago, and I noticed that the bass and the the battery, the what, it was really nice. So, uh, I think Mr. Steve he's gonna order more of these uh, PCBs, and uh, I'm glad that I tested for a long time. I mean, I tested for a few hours, so. Uh, he told me to hold on into the until we make sure that the the power of the the design is is nice. I mean, it's, it's ready to go. He told me to wait until we f uh, see if there is any bug. Uh, bug? Did I say that? Okay, sorry about that. I think I missed uh, bug. Any bug that might be pressing on the so let me write it down. I think. Come on now. Bug. Any bug. 
just to f if there is any bug on the on the circuit but I have not seen any bug at all on the circuit so I'm not sure if there is any any problem any minor problem on the design so far all works really well and uh, yeah this is a nice this is nice I'm really happy with the outcome of this design all right guys I'm gonna start the video uh, sorry that the video is not really well organized because I have a mess on my table. <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain stuff when uh, when you you speak uh, English is your second language. It's kind of difficult to explain. All right, guys, have a good day. I hope you like this video. I just to just want to inform that the next step it will be the other version of the of the the, the SPSV prototype 1.0. So I think. Uh, let me see, I gotta, I gotta show you that guys. So this is the the newest update that Mr. ST did to the PCB on information, the breeder resistor. And this is the star ground, really important, uh, and power ground. So you have plenty of connectivity. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing before I, start, uh, I say goodbye to this video. <laughs> I say goodbye, <laughs> I say the good thing. You can also use this fast on a fast on male connectors here you want to instead of using that type of so you you will make a more secure wiring I mean depending on if that's the way uh, I say this way because I'm um, I'm talking like a, for you guys because this PCB is going to be available for sale after all the bugs are checked I have not seen any any bug at all so after the PCB is a hundred percent how you say uh, go it's a go so I will let you know guys uh, when the power supply is available for sale uh, as a kit. Uh, as a kit is that you will have all the components to put it together but not the capacitor. The capacitor you will take care of that. You will purchase your own capacitor because it's, it's, going, it's going to be a lot expensive to send this, uh, this power supply with the capacitor pocket because it's pretty heavy. I'm telling you it's like uh, I would say it's like five pounds uh, maybe maybe more maybe maybe six pounds this this uh this power supply is like six pounds all oh, the whole thing and it's pretty large so you will need to have a large uh, enclosure to place this uh this power supply really large enclosure maybe a longer enclosure so you can place this uh power supply all right guys this is it i'm gonna start the video i will let you know after we completely check for all the bugs but I have not seen any more. Alright guys have a good day.